What's up, guys? OMG. It's, it's Aki. Here. It's here. And Aki's here to uh, help me break down everything that's going on with Diablo 3 patch 2.0.1. Now, uh, a quick disclaimer before we get into this. We're just going to cover some broad strokes here. There's a ton of patch notes. Um, so feel free to go to, you know, your battle.net. You can find all these patch notes right on battle.net. Um, and you can scroll through and see if anything of your specific class, you know, what's changed, what hasn't. Um, so we're just going to kind of go straight through some of the the general stuff and some of the quality of life changes that you're going to see from now until release in this patch. So, Aki, uh, going through general, let's go through and what are pools of reflection, kind of explain those just real quick and kind of what the point is of them. Sure. So pools of reflection are like the health pool that you would find that would restore your health except the yellow and what they're going to do is give you 25% bonus experience on everything you do so you get more from killing mobs more from killing bosses more from finishing events um, and basically it gives you like an X amount of 25% bonus experience and they could stack up to a total of I think 10 times 10 yep. yeah so you can get up to 10 pools and they all stack up Basically, it's like or until you play WoW, it's death. like rested experience. It's just bonus experience. So yeah, well, what it says here is gathering additional pools uh, of reflection bonuses increases the amount of total experience a bonus char uh, character can receive until character death, stacking up to 10 times. So you get the initial pool, the 25% bonus to experience, and that's fine upon logout. If you die, you're out. Then you lose it all. But yeah. if you log out, it's still there. Right. So, yeah, cool. dying is bad. Got it. Um, yeah, don't die. Guys. Don't die. Nephilim Glory. Now, Nephilim Glory, you will notice, if you go in and download this patch and get everything going, you will notice these yellow orbs of that. They kind of look like almost like little yellow lanterns that will randomly pop out of mobs, like similar to health globes, but yellow. Think of them kind of like the yellow health globe. Um, and these are super important to grab because how it works is how the Nephilim buff works is it adds additional damage and movement speed, and it can stack up to three times. So um, if you're efficient with your Nephilim stacks, it really speeds up your farm time. And remember, Blizzard's goal going into Reaper of Souls uh, is speed. You know, that is, you have to weigh, do I want speed, do I want difficulty level? And then where is the synergy between to where I feel like I'm, you know, gaining the most out of it? That's really the end game of it, in my opinion. Um, is there anything else on Nephilim Glory that you want to cover real quick? No, I think it's it. Just get three of them and yeah, go really fast. Um, and then obviously they nerfed Life Steal. They have added, you know, resource cost reduction, toughness, healing, etc. Uh, stuff like that. It's changing um, basic sets with new names, really. Right. And then players now have the ability to resurrect in multiple places when they die normal. That's pretty self-explanatory. You'll figure that out the first time you die. Um, the rest of this stuff, gold can no longer be traded. I think that's probably the big one. Yeah. So what that means, guys, is uh, yeah, you can't just you know no more Say gold. Yeah, no more gold selling <laughs> for about ninety percent of you, I guess. Yeah. The other way you can get gold, I guess, now is the auction house, which will only be up for another two weeks. Yeah. So. Oh, and we should probably cover that real quick, guys. Um, Aki and I have both played the beta extensively to the point where my character on live is at uh, Paragon 45. My my character on the beta is at <laughs> Paragon 167 right now. Yeah. So if that tells you the amount of time that I've played, uh, <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I've I put some time in on the beta, guys, and so has Aki. I think he was close to Paragon 200. Uh, um, I was finished at 197. Yeah. So what? The the biggest thing that you need to understand with the uh, yeah with just the way that that works and probably what Aki. I mean, what's um yeah, it's I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of hard to explain. <laughs> All right. Um, so going forward, guys, what we'll again we're gonna skip classes, okay? Uh, yeah, we're gonna yeah, head right yeah. down to crafting and artisans, artisans, however you want to call it. Uh, I've heard it pronounced both ways. You could probably tell me which one's wrong and then laugh at me for the other one. Um, but pretty much crafting has been added. And Aki, uh, explain kind of the loot 2.0 smart drop thing uh, because crafting's really not that much different. 
but yeah so i'll give you sort of uh like basically loot 2.0 has been added in so in the original vanilla loot just drops right you'd get a ton of loot to drop and it could be completely random you could find a legendary and it could be for any class like you get a witch doctor staff with barbarian stats on them like that's just the way that loot worked they've kind of tweaked it now um and it's a more sort of smart loot so the way it works is that sees what class you are and about 90 percent of the time it's going to give you something that you can use for your class right so it'll give you if you're a barbarian you'll find strength items uh two-handed you're not going to find wands and stuff like that although there's a small chance that you will find you know other class stuff it's not you know right made so that you only find stuff for your class um <clears throat> But, so it's just a bit more clever. You get less clutter on the ground and more right, right. more loot for your class. And uh, going off that, guys, just expounding, again, from what we've seen in the beta, what you have to understand is I know what you're thinking, well, what about my ults? Um, blood shards are account bound, okay? Uh, and when blood shards are introduced into the game, that will be how you gear your ults. Uh, that's at least the most efficient way to gear your ults is yeah. because you can literally make an entire set using the blood shards that you farmed off your main. So don't worry about if you, well, I don't have a weapon for my, you know, my demon hunter on my barb. Well, that's okay. Don't worry about it. You will be fine. We'll explain all that, you know, when the game actually drops and how to level alts and everything else, I promise you. So don't let that uh, deter you too much. Uh, as far as the difficulty system, they have changed that again. Uh, and this is the exact way that it's working in the beta currently. So how it works is you have Normal Hard, Expert Master, and Torment 1 through 6. Now, Torment is where the best items drop, okay? The best gems, the best dry, the best items, uh, the best legendaries. And then as you scale that uh, difficulty up, you are supposed to have an increased chance at those things. Um, how much of an increased chance, uh, you know, during my testing it was not enough to Wasn't really that warrant. No. I yeah. even I even did a test with the uh, the Sith Lord build um, on Torment 2. I farmed for two hours on Torment 2 and then went and did two hours on Torment 1 just to see what the difference was. And I actually found more Imperial Gems on Torment 1. Uh -huh. uh, and the the only sort of concrete increased loot thing that we know of for sure is when you're trying to do um, not key, yeah keys sorry from the key wardens. When you're in Torment 1, the only drop from Torment 1 and above, you have a 25% chance, all the, and it increases incrementally up to Torment 6, where you get a 38% chance. So that's the right. only sort of concrete numbers that we know of for sure. Right, it's uber farming, pretty much. Yeah. And let me explain to you how much fun those uber bosses are in Torment 6. Uh, <laughs> good luck. You can have yeah, your, you, you can have your 13% uh, increased chance. Yeah. So. I'll be on Torment 1. <laughs> All right, uh, cursed objects, shrines, and chests. Pretty much, these are just mini events throughout the game. It kind of gives you a little bit of flavor, something else to find during the game, kind of breaking up the monotony. Um, remember, guys, that bounties are not in the game yet, so you are still farming axe, uh, pretty much at this point. Um, but really, you're, the biggest thing is like Aki talked about. Here's Loop 2.0. If you want to go through and read that again, check out the patch notes. Uh, we pretty much explained it in a nutshell, so if you really don't care about reading these 17 paragraphs, you know, you <laughs> don't really have to. Uh, we pretty much explained how that works. Uh, scrolling down past that, Paragon 2.0. Uh, Aki, you cover this, and then I'll work on the clan uh, stuff. Love this system. This yes. is just fantastic. So much better than the old system, where you just got to bland three of your main stat, one of every other stat, every time you leveled up, right? So now they give it to you, it's account-wide, first of all, right? So all your experience from all your characters gets combined into one Paragon level, right? So like Nash said, he's at 40. My combined level started me at 120, I think it was. Um, and then you get those points to spend in four different categories. You get offense, defense, core, and utility, right? And every Paragon level will give you a point um in each category one at a time right so say you go say i go to 121 i'll get a point in offense and then when i go to 122 i'll get a point to spend in defense right yep. to a max of uh 50 
in each mini okay. category. In each mini category, yeah. It's kind of hard to like now, summarize. Yeah, and I'll take it from there because now, there's, so there's been a lot of people who said, okay, well then that means the cap's at 800. Not necessarily. There is no Paragon cap. The only benefit you will receive, though, after Paragon level 800 will be to your main stat um, and to fight because those actually do not have a 50-point cap. So while there is no Paragon cap, 800 will be your statistical cap. Um, you know, to cap things like um, your movement speed, your resist all, your life on hit, your gold find, your crit hit chance, crit hit damage, all that stuff, you want 50 of each. And so, yeah, Paragon 800 will be how you get there. So that is a long way down the street. That's, yeah, uh, that's, I mean, that's, that's, that's so far thing. away. Um, so anyway, guys, and now I'm going to cover clans real quick because this actually just came in, and then Ak, I'm going to let you kind of deal with communities because I do not understand how the hell that works. Sure. Um, so anyway, guys, clans are pretty much guilds, okay? They are guilds in-game. You can have up to 120 members. This may be raised. I would imagine that this number will go up to probably 250 um, by the yeah. time release happens. I don't think 120 is big enough. Uh, but however... On a side note, so pretty much you have your own guild. Now what this is cool for is you have a private chat channel. Anytime anybody in your guild finds a legendary, it will put it in clan chat so that you can take a look at it. Uh, which, because let's be honest, half of this, half the fun in this game is going, oh my god, that lucky bastard. Because now <laughs> none of the gear is tradable, you can't sell it on the auction house. So if I get, you know, a best in slot perfect triumvirate on my wizard... Everybody sees it, and then I get to listen to the QQ, and I get to sit there on my high horse and go, don't you wish your triumphant was like this? <laughs> um, and so that's kind of one of the cool things. The other thing that you can do, uh, there's a news and info tab, so that if you want to do, like, uh, like if we want to do, like, a farming night, so, like, I'll put in there, like, the event for the 24-hour live stream upon game release. Um, you can have, like... You know, let's say we do like a like we do a weekly like you know Saturday night. You know, is this class's farming night? We grab four, you know, four witch doctors, get in a group and just farm the shit out of stuff, and then just you know we can trade the legendaries for two hours, see if we can find any upgrades for people. Stuff like that is what this is going to be used for. Um, it's just a nice way to kind of have a group atmosphere. Think of it like a guild calendar in WoW. Yeah, is the same kind of idea behind it. But uh, clans are going to be an amazing, amazing thing. So, and you can only be, obviously, in one clan at one time, per character, for players. So, like, I'm pretty sure that's account-wide. Yeah, that is account-wide. Yeah, so it doesn't matter uh, what account you're on. If your Battle.net account is associated with a clan. So, don't think of the 120 members. Well, well I have seven one Paragon 100 players. Well, that's fine. Then they're all automatically in our clan, which is Beams or Riot, the greatest clan in the world. Beams or Riot? Beams or Riot. So if you guys do want to join our clan, um, all you have to do is just add myself or Aki or uh, Jesse on um, Real ID. Aki and ours, mine is Nash, hashtag 1240. Um, and then if for some odd reason I don't friend request you within about a day or two, um, and, I, and you've seen me online, it's probably because my friends list is full, um, add Aki. And Aki, what's yours? Aki, hashtag 6561. 6561. So those are your two ways to get in. Uh, both of us have invite privileges and everything else. And we're working on getting, you know, the final uh, clan structure put up. But anyway, going into communities, Aki, go ahead and cover that because I'm... Sure. So communities um, are exactly what they sound like. It's a community. So it's kind of... It's not like a clan where it's like a guild structure type thing. It's just a community, a gathering of people. So you can have as many people as you want in this community. They don't, you don't get any special benefits for being in a community like um, the clan features. But it's just like a way of saying, you know, maybe... Um, what's a good example? Let's say, Wizards. like, Mods, for example. Mods has more than 120 people that want to be in his clan. He also has a community set up so that anybody can be in that community. He can talk with all the people in the community. They can all talk with each other. But he can keep a, a separate 120 people in the clan, right? right. So it's it's kind of like a um, an extension of a clan in right. a way, but it just allows anybody to be in. It's a community, right? It's like it's it's just a community. That's what it is. Right. And so. keep in mind too, guys. This is also like for for me on beta. I was all I would always join wizard the wizard community um, yeah. because that way, if you know, if anybody got a really cool wizard drop, I could see it. Um, and then I could be jelly. So that was, you know, 
Um, and with communities, you can be in as many as you like. You're not yeah. restricted to just one like you are with clans. Right. So think of it as like a trade chat with a few more options. Is a nice, yeah. Another yeah, way, to put, way to put it. Um, so keep that in mind that the more you're in, the more spam you will get. So yeah. you know, whether that means you want to limit or add is really up to you. But yeah, guys, that is, is there really anything else you want to cover, Aki? No, I think that's pretty much it. I mean... Like I said, guys, there's a lot more we could cover, but uh, we'll put a link in the description of the, the patch notes so you can read them a bit more in depth for your classes and stuff. Yeah, I mean, you'll see, if you guys are watching the video, you're seeing me scroll up right now, and I'm literally, yeah, okay, it took me about 27 <laughs> minutes to get all the way to the top through all the class changes. Um, so keep that in mind, guys. Also, uh, remember that going forward, if there are any other you know breaking updates or when we do find anything else out, uh, we will be back to let you guys know. Otherwise, uh, go ahead and hop on in and get set up and get your guy ready to go for Reaper Souls. Uh, there is some pretty cool uh, pre-ordering benefits of uh, pre-ordering Reaper of Souls. So, I mean, you get the wings and then you also get a Heroes of the Storm character for when that game releases, uh, which is an incredible benefit to me. I'm, I'm super excited for that game, too. I just want the wings. Yeah. Man. I mean, there's, there's so... <laughs> remember, guys, they don't have Transmog in here yet. They don't have Bounties in here yet. They don't have... Um, reforging. reforging is not in here yet so there's still plenty of features that you don't have yet that really are really great quality of life changes for the game so go on test this stuff out maybe play with some different classes get your paragon levels up you know get your gold ready to go um aki i've i've said this from you know experience so far is i'm going to say about 150 million gold a tune is what you yeah. really need uh going forward yeah, that's a good number to aim for. You want to have at least 150 million gold. That will make it so that you can sustain yourself right. plenty when Reaper comes out, since you can't just, you know, pop on the auction house and top yourself off if right. you run out. Yeah, so, and guys, I have a prediction. Gold is going to get more expensive very quickly. Oh, yeah. Um, with, the, with them uh, breaking it so you can't trade, all those guys have to get rid of their gold, so you're going to see either a huge influx in gold, which you might see, but you're also going to see a huge influx in buyers because if people have, oh, well, I only have 100K gold on my account, shit. You know, for $10, I can get $150 million. Um, you know, people are going to go do that. do that. Yeah. yeah, so keep in mind that, you know, the early bird's really going to get the worm on this one. So make sure, like, when I bought gold, I think it was $1.89 for, like, it was stupid cheap for like 10 million or yeah. something i think now it's up to like three bucks already um, yeah i saw it on there the other day it was up to like four dollars fifty so. yeah so i would recommend uh whether they're all holding out for like the last week but i really doubt it because all those gold farmers are trying to make any dollars they can before that thing gets turned off in a couple weeks so yeah. i would recommend if you're gonna buy gold and you've got an extra 20 30 bucks laying around go do it um because you're gonna want it going forward but anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, we look forward to seeing you in-game. Again, message either of us, and we'll be more than happy to get you a guild invite, adding us on Real ID. Um, and I am excited to get this game rocking and underway. And as always, we will see you in the next one.